Hey guys! So today I am doing an inspired look um, by the new girl group Sonamu and their music video for Deja Vu. Um, I am a huge uh, BAP fan and was not really going to pay them much attention because of all the crap that's going on with TS Entertainment. But I listen to them and they're absolutely awesome. Like, I really love their music. Um, I like more of like the tomboy kind of girl groups. Like, um, Tiny G, I really like them. Um, GI and 21 and of course Sonamu. So, um, one of the girls had this kind of really fun black smoky eye with glitter. So I thought I would recreate it. They all had really dark, glittery looks, which I really, really loved. Um, so this is what the look is going to. This is the. Yeah. So this is what I'm doing with the tutorial on today. I really hope you guys enjoy, and if you do, make sure to thumbs it up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and on with the tutorial. Okay, so I already applied a primer, and now I'm going to take a piece of tape just so the edge of the eyeshadow is really sharp. Now I'm taking just a black base and just applying that on my lid and blending it up. Now this look is going to look a little different than it did in the music video because my eyes are shaped differently, so I'm definitely going to have to do differently. Um, for the crease, I'm using the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. I'm just kind of buffing a little bit of that into my crease. And using my Lorac Pro palette, the second version, I'm taking light brown, which is like a warmer brown, and kind of going on top of that just to warm it up a little bit. Now taking a flat shader brush, I will be taking the black from the Lorac 2 palette and apply that all over my lid. And I'm going to put a piece of paper or tissue up under my eye so that way there will be no fallout on my face and it keeps my face makeup intact. And then taking a clean fluffy brush, just blending the lines between the black and the brown, just so it's a seamless line. And taking a shimmery white, I'm just going to apply that on the highest part of my brow and then blend that down. I just used a Mary Kay Trio. Then remove the tape. Now using the Fergie Wet n Wild liner in black, I'm just going to line my lower lash line and water line and my upper lash line and smoke it out with the actual um, black eyeshadow that I used before just to make sure that there's no gaps and that everything is seamless. And I'm just taking the black eyeshadow again and just kind of blending everything. Now taking my Voluminous Mangalash uh, Mascara, I'm just going to apply a few coats. And then I'm going to grab my YSL Mascara and go over it on top. You can also add false lashes if you would prefer, um, but I don't have any. <laughs> so now I'm using Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue to apply the glitter to my face. And I'm just kind of putting it in a C shape around my eye. It doesn't have to be specific. And taking Bling Bling Glitter from Corpse Cosmetics. I'm using a fluffy brush and just applying it over that glitter. 
And again, it doesn't have to be precise. And of course, you can skip this step if you're not into glitter. And then I'm kind of brushing it off just to get rid of the loose glitter. And now for lips. I'm just using a nude lip color from J Cat Beauty and just applying it all over my lips. And I'm just going to contour a little bit more with my Lorac um, highlighter and bronzer duo. And I'm just going to contour a little bit more since their face was really contoured. And then use the highlighter to highlight the high points of my face, my cheekbones, my nose, forehead, and chin. And that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed and definitely give it a thumbs up. And that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this Sonamu inspired makeup look. Um, it's very dramatic, very glittery, and very fun to wear. Uh, if you did, remember to thumbs it up and subscribe if you haven't. Um, yeah, I hope you guys will give Sonamu a chance despite the company's downfalls. Um, because they're actually a really good group. So, definitely check them out and I will talk to you later. Bye.